Tam's Pokemon and today finally I've got my hands on some more Dragon Majesty. It's taken a long time. I had actually ordered some. Um, these are actually from Amazon. I had actually ordered some from CCG Castle and have been really uh, disappointed actually with their service. Um, I don't, don't like to really bash. I don't like to bash people but um, I have ordered a lot of stuff from CCG before and I've never really had an issue with them but um, I had a real problem tracking down like where my order was and if they'd got the packs out or not um and i was i thought actually the company were a little bit rude to me actually and, and i'm not i'm really not a rude person when it comes to speaking to them um through messaging systems but they were a little bit rude to me um sort of claimed that the product hadn't even been released and it was like five days after the release date and so which i thought was really strange from a a card company that is, you know, as, as renowned as, as um, CCG Castle is, and they sort, they were sort of a little bit rude. Um, I, I've seen yesterday that the tracking number has appeared for them, and so I will be receiving that at some point this week. But they, um, they haven't had really the best customer service, which is a shame because I've bought a lot of products from them in the past, and, and it is going to make me. Um, consider not buying products from them in the future. And I will be looking for a new company, I think, just because I just don't think it's necessary to to be rude to people. Um, when I was literally just asking a question, I was never rude to them remotely. So, oh well, never mind. You live and you learn, eh? So, on to the um, pack openings uh, here. Let me just raise my camera slightly so you guys can see that Latias and Latios in the background there. Six packs. Uh, I did get a secret rare in the last opening. You guys should go ahead and check that out. Any, I mean, any sort of GX in this would be an absolute win for me. Six packs, you, your sort of expectation is to get maybe one. Um, every pack is a white card code. So these are, it's great because the, the pack, they're not giving anything away. There's some really nice cards in this. Such as cuts cards such as Charizard, which you guys saw that I pulled in the last one. I did actually pull some off camera. I had actually pulled three Charizards in total. So, sort of hoping for something along those lines again. The Elite Trainer Box comes out on time of recording. It comes out the following Friday from when I'm recording this. Hey, Victini Prism Star, which is excellent. Don't have one of those yet. And an Altaria GX Full Art. What a way to start the opening. Absolutely phenomenal. Basically the best you can possibly do, minus a, I suppose, a secret rare. Absolutely, I'm gonna put the Latias and Latias down here, just because they're cards that you guys have already seen, I'm sure by now. But that Altaria GX Full Art is absolutely epic. What a beautiful card that is. Um, yeah, so sort of really excited by this set. It's such a small set, but it just there's just some really awesome looking cards in it. Like I said, the Charizards and the Secret Rare Fortune of Crows with a gold card. I mean, that is such a chase card right now. It's, um, I think at the moment, at the time of recording, it's going for roughly around about $120, which is absolutely insane for just like one card. But um, I'd love to be able to pick up, pick up one of those. I mean, it's obviously asking a lot, but... Um, there's that. There's, there's obviously, like I said, the Altaris. There's some really good full arts in this set too, and some secret rares. There is a Dragonair Reverse, which is an uncommon, and a Gyarados Holographic, so very cool. Do you already own a Gyarados, I believe? But it's a cool card all the same. Look down there. And onto the third pack from the Latias box. So it's kind of cool, like, I like kind of in a way that this, this set's hard to get hold of because you just sort of feel, um, it feels just so much more special opening the packs from these cards, from, sorry, the, yeah, the packs. Just, just holds like a little bit more meaning. Switch Raft, card I haven't actually seen yet. Switch your active water Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. If you do heal 30 damage from that Pokemon, you move to your bench, pretty cool. Another Dragonair, I think there's a Dragonair in every pack so far, Fiona. Bagon, Totodile, Giratini, there is a Horsey, Jang Momo, Salander is the reverse and the rare is a Blaziken, which seems to be the number one card that I've pulled in this set. That is actually, believe it or not, my 
fourth Blaziken that I have pulled already in this set. So we will go on to the Latios side of things. Let's sort of organize these cards down here a little bit. Haven't done a very good job organizing those. Charizard, Dragonite, and Reshiram. So I'll go with Reshiram first. Card, I would love to pull a Dragonite card of any sort in this set. Um, definitely a card that I'm chasing. Um, there are some, I've already got the Charizards. Um, did actually go off and sell some straight away, but just because I, I knew I was gonna be opening a lot more of it. Um, and I, I pulled three of them out of my first 12 pack, so quite a lot, really. Um, so this is Zinnia, and Zinnia says you can play this card only if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Attach it to two basic energy cards from your hand to one of your Dragon Pokemon. So there is a really awesome full art card of that in this set, and I believe at, again, time of recording, that card is going roughly for around 40 to $45, which is incredible for a full art trainer. Hey, reverse energy. Always really happy to get a reverse energy. They are only, I don't believe they're available in... Sun and Moon sets, certainly not at the moment, and I know that you can get them in Shining Legends, but I don't think you can get them in other packs. And a Hydreigon, which is a card that, again, I already actually own. Because it is such a small set, though, there are a lot of, there is a lot of uh, duplicate pulling happening. Um, and I, in my first um, 12, yeah, was it 12 or 6? In anyway, my first 12 packs, I pulled three Blazekins, three Charizards, and it was the other one. Three of another card too. It was just, it was just crazy. Just kept pulling the same, the same cards. I was happy to pull that um, one secret rare that I pulled because if it wasn't for that, it would have been probably a slight disappointment. But I was pretty pleased in the end with with what I got. So let's have a look at these last two packs. As I got there, Cedra, there is a uh, Kingdra GX in this Hakamoto. There is a Komoto in this too. Kangaskhan, very cool Kangaskhan. Swablu, of course, the Altera that we saw in the background. Swablu is a reverse, and the rare is a Zekrom, which is actually a new card for me. Don't own this yet. Very subtle holographic pattern on that. Very epic looking. Angry eyes. So, on to the last pack here, and it is the Charizard artwork. I would take another Charizard. They, they are going for anywhere between seven and ten dollars right now so um it is a card that i would i certainly wouldn't say no to um but definitely really would really like that charizard card sorry not charizard that dragon right so combusting there to go with the blaziken salazzle trap inch whooper dratini swablu vibrava Reverse is a Derumaka, which is a really cool card. I feel like I haven't seen Derumaka forever. And the final card is a Blaine's Last Stand. Very nice indeed. Holographic supporter card there. That actually says on it, you can play this card when it is the last card in your hand. Draw two cards for each fire type Pokemon you haven't played. So that's pretty cool. If you've got a fire base deck and you in a bit of spot of bother, it could be quite a good card to use. So overall, fairly pleased with that. I've got sort of, you know, within odds, um, one GX and it is a full art, so that's pretty good bonus. Um, uh, Victini Prism Star, which I'm really happy about too. A couple of new hollows in Blaine's Last Stand and Zekron. Um, a couple that I've seen before in Hydreigon, Gyarados and Blaziken. So pretty balanced, pretty happy with that indeed. I will be getting some more. I think I've got, like I said, I've got two, three more on order from CCG Castle if they ever decide to get here. I mean, we're at this at time of recording was two weeks after release, so they've really taken a long time to, to get round to those. Um, but I will be getting the late trainer box too. So thanks a lot guys for popping on by. Please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, goodbye.